Maybe you're listening to this episode escaping your family on Thanksgiving Day. And if you are, I'm right here for you, my friend. This episode will give you new perspective. So if you need a little shift this holiday season, this is where you're going to find it. Hello, welcome to the Business of Happiness podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Taryn McCarthy, and today is going to be such a great day. Today, we are understanding how gratitude builds abundance. See, you thought that saying thank you was for the other person, but gratitude actually empowers us in deep, meaningful ways. Gratitude is what builds wealth and value for you. I'm sitting here on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and just reflecting on gratitude, reflecting on giving thanks. I'm sitting here actually wearing my spiritual gangster grateful sweatshirt (laughs) as I'm speaking to you. And I'm not wearing it for the reason you think I am. Not because it's my favorite sweatshirt or because I was feeling enormously grateful this morning. It's because I woke up this morning feeling disconnected. I woke up this morning feeling a sense of urgency, a sense of lack, a sense of not being good enough. Those same limiting beliefs that plague us every now and then just kind of overwhelmed me this morning. I got that feeling in my chest, shortness of breath, immediately catastrophizing, thinking of worst case scenarios for the day, all the things I have to, should do, all the things I need to get done. And what I knew in that moment was In order to step into my higher self, in order to have great impact, to say the words I need to say today, to be the woman I need to be today, I needed to reach for something to pull me out of those disempowered emotions and put me back into my zone of genius, back into my place of power. And I'll tell you that there is nothing that does it so efficiently and effectively for me as gratitude. So I put on this sweatshirt, (laughs) literally put on gratitude. When I couldn't reach for it in my heart, I put it on my body and thought, okay, I know now where my focus needs to be today. So what is it about gratitude that pulls us up? Why is it so effective? Why do we feel so good when we say thank you? And when we feel that gratitude for ourselves, and I want to make a really important distinction here, saying thank you and feeling thank you are two very different things. And for those of us in the medical and dental world, those of us who are very high achievers, try to accomplish a lot of things, I call us neck uppers. We tend to live from the neck up and not be pay attention paying attention to our feelings. And gratitude is one of those concepts that asks us to be very present with our feelings. Gratitude is so powerful in its ability to shift our perspective away from a place of lack and fear and scarcity to a place of enormous wealth and abundance in a split second because it asks us to pause, to feel. It recalibrates us by asking us to pause. So if you're sitting around Thanksgiving table this Thanksgiving and someone's saying, I would love everyone to go around the room and say what they're thankful for. And you're just listing things off that you know you should be thankful for. I'm thankful for my health, for my family, for the roof over my heads. You're missing the magic and the power of gratitude for yourself. So 
If you're at one of these parties and someone's asking you to do that, instead of rolling your eyes and just trying to go through the motions, I invite you to actually participate because of the gift it is going to serve you with. Because when we ask ourselves to feel gratitude, and I don't mean just have gratitude, I mean feel it. We ask our bodies to slow down and be present. Slow down and recalibrate where our focus and attention is. So for example, this morning, when I woke up, my focus and attention was on scarcity and lack and fear and anxiety and stress. And when I tucked into allowing myself to feel gratitude for what is, it gave me an opportunity to pivot my focus and attention away from lack and towards abundance. Why? Because we're grateful for things that we have. We're grateful for things that we have. And that is the feeling that resonates in our bodies. So even if it's grateful for an opportunity that might take place, that is an opportunity that might take place that you have. So it reinforces our sense of wealth and abundance. It reminds us also of what matters to us. Because we have gratitude, we can feel gratitude for something that we value. Don't necessarily feel gratitude for something you don't value. But if there's something that you really are grateful for, it's because you place high value on it. So that's another reason why gratitude is such a great practice for recalibrating. It allows us also to amplify those good things. We tend to be problem solvers, us doctors and dentists and leaders and even parents. We're very trained to look for the problem, isolate the problem, go after the problem, solve the problem. (laughs) Am I right? In fact, so many of us are down to the millimeter or micromillimeter of the problem. And when we do, we amplify the, you know what, the problem. I mean, how many of us do this every day when one patient has something uncomfortable to say, negative to say, and we take that home with us and amplify this story over and over and over and over again in our minds? Well, gratitude allows us to amplify the things we value. It reminds us to put our focus and attention on the things we value and amplify those positive things that we really care about. As I mentioned, gratitude requires us to slow down. I mean, really feeling it. So one way to really feel it is when you find something you're grateful for, to ask yourself, why? Why am I grateful for this? So, for example, this morning when I was reaching for gratitude, when I literally put my gratitude sweater shirt on so that I could tell my body that it's time to feel gratitude. And sometimes we need rituals like that, like the Thanksgiving table, right? Sitting down, like Aunt Rose saying, let's all say something we're grateful for. Ritual helps us in that way. Well, when I did that ritual of putting my gratitude, grateful sweatshirt on this morning, the first thing I thought was, I'm really grateful that I went to my daughter's concert last night. And then I get to ask myself, well, why? Why am I grateful for that? Now I can go even deeper. And I'll tell you what I came up with this morning is, I'm grateful that I made time for what's important to her. I'm grateful that I was able to slow my body enough to be present for the music and not just be counting the minutes till it ended. I'm grateful that I've done the work to teach my body how to slow down and be present. And I'm grateful that she loves what she's doing. I'm grateful that I saw the love and passion in her eyes last night. I'm grateful that I was there to hear her girlfriend (laughs) cheering her on and see the love and the passion that they have for one another. All of these beautiful moments start building up for me as I'm asking myself why. 
they start adding to this collective treasure chest of wealth that I can recognize I'm grateful for. And all of a sudden, my mind is no longer focusing on what I thought was the problem, the scarcity, the lack, the not enough time, the urgency, the demands. All of a sudden, I'm now wholly focused on the things that really matter to me because that's what gratitude is so good at. It puts things back in perspective for ourselves personally. See, no one can tell you what to be grateful for. I mean, they can try, but you can't feel it unless it's true to you. And that's one of the most powerful things about gratitude is it illuminates for us what matters. I cannot tell you how many people, incredibly successful, accomplished, amazing people who are doing great things in this world, who I'll ask, what really matters to you? They have a hard time reaching for that. What makes you happy? Feels very distant when you're in a place of stress and overwhelm and anxiety. But gratitude allows us to get more clear on what those things are. It asks us to feel. And so many of us have just gone through our days, through our weeks, pushing feeling aside. In fact, the holidays can sometimes be about this too. We tend to just push through. We rush through our last patients to push out the door, to get our team member, you know, get the office somewhat ready for when we come back after the holidays. We're pushing through and thinking about all the things we quote unquote have to do. We're pushing through just to get the food on the table and the guests through the door and clean the house. We keep pushing through our emotions and what we end up doing is not allowing ourselves to feel. And gratitude gives us that permission to feel. And often when I am in a gratitude practice, an intentional gratitude practice like I was this morning, I'll start crying because it reminds me of what matters. And sometimes it shows me how far away I've been in my actions and in my thoughts from what matters. And wow, what a great recalibrator. I'll tell you, in those moments, it might seem like it causes us to feel shame and guilt, and sometimes it does. Wow, I'm so grateful for this, and I've really had my attention here. Wow, I realize now what's so important to me, and really I've been focusing on something that really doesn't matter. But something that gratitude does is it opens a window to self-worth. When I reflect on what I have to be grateful for, I'm giving myself permission to be grateful. And when I give myself permission to be grateful, there's a window, an opening to the possibility that I am worthy of this gratitude. I'm worthy of receiving this abundance. It gives us a little window into the possibility that I can be worth and worthy of this thing that I'm so grateful for or this person. So as you go into the holidays, I invite you to see gratitude with this new lens. I invite you to not just go through the motions of Thanksgiving, but to use it as an opportunity, an opportunity to take advantage of the gift of gratitude, not for anyone else, but for you. So what do you have to be thankful for? I want you to ask yourself to identify those things and ask yourself why. Why am I thankful for that? Why am I so grateful? Give yourself that permission. And I'll tell you the black belt version of this is to share it with someone else. And there's this beautiful outcome, but I want you to do it from a place of sharing it because you want to feel it even deeper. Community and connection and relationships allows us to do exactly that. When you share your gratitude with someone else, you not only allow it to expand, 
in the amount of time and focus that you've had on that thing. You know, the more we talk about something, the bigger it gets. But it also brings a source of connection between the two of you. It allows you to be seen for who you truly are. Instead of just talking about the weather or talking about the food, really giving that other person an opportunity to see the real you. What matters to you? I want to share with you something that I am so grateful for. Even more powerful is when you can say thank you to a person if you're grateful for them. And yes, the outcome is they feel so valued. They feel so worthy. It builds their sense of self-worth. But I want you to recognize that it's also allowing you to build yours. Because in offering gratitude to someone else, we build our sense of self-worth too. Because there's this underlying feeling that I am worthy of giving this gratitude. I am worthy of expressing my gratitude. It builds our sense of deservancy. Well, let me take this moment now to say thank you to you. <laughs> thank you for being here on this podcast. Thank you for joining me every week and for listening to these new perspectives. Thank you for caring for your patients. Thank you for caring for your team. Thank you for caring for your family. And most importantly, thank you for showing up for you. Thank you for recognizing the value of reaching for that higher, more empowered vibrational emotion, feeling good and recognizing that when you feel good, you can do good. And one way to reach for a greater, more empowered feeling is to reach for gratitude. It worked for me this morning and I give that to you as we go into the holidays. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays, my friend. Thank you for listening to the Business of Happiness podcast. If this episode brought you new perspective and value, I invite you to subscribe so that you catch all upcoming episodes and leave us a review. And if you know of a friend or colleague who could benefit from this perspective, share this episode with them and empower their day. For more information about the Business of Happiness and the Radical Happiness for Practitioners course, find me on www.thebizofhappiness.com. See you there.